Hi, I'm Mike Yoder from Spectrum Health, the social media team here. And today I have Ardreen with me. And we're going to talk a little bit about Community Health Worker Week, that, uh, or month, I'm sorry. We're, we're celebrating Community Health Worker Month. And uh, so Ardreen is going to uh, talk to us a little bit about that. And so that's what we're going to do. Um, so what does a community health worker do? Well, a community health worker, so many things a community health worker does. Um, for one, we remove barriers to um, clients, um, the underserved, or actually, it's just your natural bench, you know what I mean? You uh, automatically serve people, you uh, try to make sure that they get what they need in order to, um, to be successful in whatever they're doing. But, you know, as far as a community health worker, um, just making sure that clients have the health care that they need. Um, many times when clients are in the community, they have somewhere they have got disconnected from the, um, from the hospital. Or, um, and so that's what we do. We connect them. Um, Good. Yeah. So it's targeting uh, primarily the underserved in our community. Is that correct? Yes, but it don't just have to be the underserved. It's anyone who's not able to manage a chronic illness oh, okay. and um, their provider or someone feels like they would benefit from our program, um, we become like a cheerleader um, in a client's home. And to go into a client's home, that's like, um, to me, that's really a humbling experience because now you are in their world. Um, they are letting you become a part of their story. So now you are helping them to, or you are um, just helping them walk through whatever is going on in their life or um, encouraging them. Um, Good. Okay. Next question here. What are some of your responsibilities as it relates to Spectrum Health? Uh, my responsibility as it relates to Spectrum Health is to, as I said, to remove barriers um, to the healthcare system so to make sure that people are not continuing to be frequent flyers to the emergency room um, and that they are um, not continuing to be readmitted into the hospital for the same problem. Okay. Um, and so how do we do that? Um, just by empowering empowering the client or the individual to see that there is no mountain that is too high that they can't go over or no situation so difficult that they can't face. And so, um, so it's- So you sort of help them navigate the ins and outs of getting the, the care that they need and getting connected to the right caregivers and providers. Correct, and yeah. Because many times as you might know for yourself that the healthcare system can be overwhelming. Mm -hmm. And even working there, you know, I know at times this, you know, that is overwhelming to me. And for someone who maybe have not uh, been to the doctor or been in the hospital or anything for years, and now all of a sudden they're faced with this, you know, um, with this issue that they have to go to the doctor or they are in the hospital. So how do they work through this? You know, a lot of times people just give up, you know. Well, that's what we don't want them to do. We want them to face it, address it, and, you know, just uh, manage it because that's what it's all about. It's tools that are out there in the community, in their community, that actually could help them to move on smoothly, you know, through life and to continue to be healthy even though they have a chronic illness. Okay, good. Why is uh, uh, Community Health Worker Month important, do you think? Well... Community health workers have been around for a long time, and um, they are a vital part of um, connecting the hospital to people. Um, the governor, Snyder, recognized that um, the underserved population was affecting them, so, and they, um, recognized that there was a group of healthcare workers that was making a difference that was impacting that that group mm -hmm. and so um, 
you know, well, here we come, community health workers, CHWs. Um, we, you know, so they seen that it was, um, that we would be a valuable part for the healthcare system, um, strengthening the healthcare system. And so he proclaimed that August 2014, from there forward, would be Community Health Worker Month. Great, great. So, so explain community health workers' benefits to an organization like Spectrum Health. Okay. Use your, yeah, you can use your notes. <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm sure there so, are a lot. Yeah. It's so much, right, yeah. Um, one of the things as um, the benefits for a community health worker would be an organization like Spectrum um, because of the shortage of health care. Um, community health worker makes a valuable um, improvement to access to care, basic health service, um, it strengthens the health care team, meaning like, you know, say that the doctors only have a certain amount of time. So the community health worker um, becomes the eyes and the ears of the community and allows the doctors to see uh, what's going on in between visits, you know, um, what might be some of the, um, the barriers that's keeping the client from, um, from following, you know, um, the directions that the doctor has given them. And many times they are labeled as non-compliant, but, but, you know, um, one of the things as a community health worker, in order for a client to be in the program, they have to be at home. And to me, when a person is at home that says something, I want something from this program. And even though you don't see any change for a while, uh, <laughs> but each time you go, you know that they're saying, I want to change. And I think we all know how hard it is to change a habit that you have been living with, say, for 50 or 70 years or more. And then all of a sudden, you know, you got this, um, this concern that if you don't make a change, something major is going to happen to you. So here, the community health worker walks gently alongside the individual, you know, helping them to build strategies, giving them um, the courage to say, I can do this, you know, uh, where in times past, they just felt like they were hopeless. So they just continue to do what they do and they kept continue to get the results that they were getting. But now, you know, we help them to set goals and, um, said empowering them to make different so would it, yeah so would it be fair to say that a community health worker kind of makes spectrum a little more human a little more uh, less scary and clinical and and puts people next to people to help guide them through the process and that sort of thing is that fair to say you're exactly right that is what we do um, so through our through our interaction with the client, so they see us as a part of the healthcare system. And so they welcome us into the home. So they feel like if, you know, if the, you know, if the community health worker is, uh, we're able to relate to them or they are able to make us feel comfortable, they are able to help us to see the need why we need to go to the doctor, why we need to follow the, the doctor's directions. You know, then, um, you know, they're able to, they feel like once the program is over, that they are able to uh, continue on once, you know, no one else is around. So now they have a lifestyle change, so, yes. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. And happy Community Health Worker Month. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you.